it's okay to use other people's quotes or postings and reshare them as long as you don't claim them your own. But what really gets the buzz in Google Plus is new, never before seen content. Now, going with original content, you want to make sure that you have rich media in your posts, like pictures, .gif, uh, videos, useful tips or interesting articles. This will get you more plus ones, will, which will give you more visibility on your Google Plus page. Some additional ways to get better visibility in Google Plus. Put the Google Plus code on your website. This way you can actually make sure you're an official page. It will allow Google Plus badges on your website, and it will link your Google Plus page with your AdWords campaign. Um, that's definitely a feature that you want to you wanna do right away, is link it with your AdWords campaign. Uh, because plus ones on your Google Plus page actually adds them to your website as well. So if someone is on Google Plus and likes it, it automatically goes to your website. One of the neat things about Google Plus is that users have to be logged in to like or plus one a page. So this allows you to see, like we spoke before in analytics, how many people are socially engaged compared to not socially engaged. And we'll, uh, Tony, we'll do a few screenshots of that towards the end of the presentation when we start talking about tracking. And I think more is going to be revealed here tied to putting that Google Plus badge on your website. And again, with all the Google tools that are already out there, think of Google Analytics, think of Google Webmaster Tools, and how all of this data might be integrated for the good of optimizing your site and interacting with the Google community. So I think the sooner that you put that Google Plus badge on your page, which really doesn't take a whole lot. It's just a couple lines, a snippet of code that you would insert. And our recommendation would be to put it alongside, if you already have any of the other social media badges out there, to go ahead and put it alongside the other social media badges because you are asking for people to connect with you. Um, again, the G plus badge, the Google plus badge, is different than the plus one. This is taking somebody directly to your Google Plus page. That plus one button is looking for their endorsement of your site or of the web listing. OK, so with all this talk about circles, we're, we're going to get started talking about circles. Uh, you're going to start getting a lot of people noticing your business page, people circling you and your company. So you're going to need to start organizing your context. You don't have to limit on how many circles you have. So this allows you to separate your industry colleagues from your clients, prospects, vendors, and even staff. That way you can select which posts to limit to certain circles or those posts you would like to make public. This could be one of the greatest differentiating factors between this particular network and channel and all of the others. And I think it's probably really important for you to conceptualize how you want to create circles before you go ahead and do it, meaning what's the best way for you to tackle slicing up your marketing database? Think of it that way. All of these people that are following you or that are adding you, you know, uh, that want to follow your stream and your content, what's the best way that you can share content back with them uniquely in a categorized fashion? It might be, as Tony mentioned, clients versus prospects versus you know team members or staff or vendors and then maybe you're sharing information that way however it also may be geographic because certain marketing materials or promotions or rich media may work better in one area than another it may be based upon your product lines so if you have a few different product lines and somebody has already expressed interest in a certain product line, then maybe you categorize them that way so you can push content out to them that's relevant to them. If you are a business with a lot of different products or services or very delineated categories, then you may want to replicate those products or services or categories as your circles themselves to help you to provide content better to the end user. Remember, you also can post content to everyone. So content that goes public goes to everybody who's followed you, no matter what circle they're in. So it's not a matter of 
worrying about having to send different information multiple times. That's really not the idea here. The idea is some of the content you want to go to everyone, and that's fine, and it can. But there are other pieces of content that may come out, let's say a training video, uh, that perhaps is only good for the B2B community, or the B2C community, or for people that are interested in product A, uh, or for Macintosh users versus PC users. This is the way in which you can really start to create some very engaging social interactions on Google Plus based upon a great strategy in place for defining these circles. If you would like more information on this topic, please call us at 561-620-9682 or email us at info at moresvisibility.com.